Hello, this is Patrick from 1CNC West, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate the four-axis simultaneous machining. This is where we take a component, mount it on a rotary table, and actually machine all the way around the part. Alright, so here's a somewhat interesting surface here, and what we're going to do is go up to our NC Manager, and we're going to go to our four axis full and we'll click OK. Now there's nothing special you need to do here. You don't need to set up any uh, construction planes or make any geometry. Just make sure you've got your surface and solid loaded in the correct location. And what I mean by that is just make sure that it's it's located around center line properly. Okay? So there's our part. Now we're going to come over here to our tool pass. We're going to use the finished tool pass four axis machining. This is where we select our end mill. This is going to be uh, turret position number one. I'm going to use a three-quarter inch ball nose on this. Okay, now first thing we're going to do is set up our X envelope. In other words, how much of this do we want to machine? Well, I'm going to start at X minus six, and that's because I don't want the tool to go all the way into our, our fixture over here. The, this part of the component is seven inches long, so at X minus six, we're going to, we're going to start machining right about here. So we're going to start at X minus 6, we're going to end at X0. Uh, our clearance radius, this has to be higher than the part. I've got 5 inches set here. Uh, for this material, I'm using 8-inch uh, diameter stock, so my material radius is 4 inches. Got our surface tolerance. I want to zigzag back and forth. I don't want to leave anything for finish. My start angle is going to be 0. My end angle is going to be 360. We're going to go all the way around this part and the incremental angle is set to five degrees here. You can type in whatever you'd like, but notice that when you type in a value, the uh, step over changes uh, at the bottom. These both, both of these fields are tied into each other. You can also use this calculate extents command and it will create an envelope automatically around your surface, but I'm good to go with what we have right here. Let's go ahead and click finish. It's going to take a while for it to calculate everything. What it's doing is it's uh, analyzing all the surfaces on the model and it's specifying the uh, step over based upon our tolerance. Alright, so there's the tool path. It didn't take that long. Let's go ahead and load our tooling. Let's bring our our chuck in there and why don't we go ahead and bring our other part of our indexer in as well. So there's our part. Let's go ahead and preview this. So we'll preview tool paths. And here we go. You can see it's really a simple process. All you really need to do is just load your surface, make sure that it's in the right location. In other words, it's positioned properly around center line, and then apply your tool path, specify your step over, and what envelope you want. Remember how I said minus six inches? That's what you're seeing over here. It's machining minus six inches. We've got X zero here, and then X minus six right here. And everything's controlled. You have complete control over your retract amount, uh, your stock amount, how much you want to leave for a finish, and so on. I sure appreciate you watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.